out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours lets you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with a cloak of quality. Better you than me. Alright guys, welcome back to another Dishonored gameplay. Today, th this is like 11th episode of this Dishonored series. So, this time we are dealing with Lady Boyle. And yes, of course. gonna do with this mission with the high chaos run there's one keeper I know there's a couple more Upgrade our powers, so I think we are gonna use possession. We're gonna take this, and yes, we can't, we cannot use possession anytime soon if you if we want to possess humans. This is how you take down Tall Boy. And that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing and they had one of their. You know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed and. And they thought she was a witch. <laughs> you should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter. Okay. Reached himself to get her back. Elixir. Useful as always. Okay, what this says? Estate district. Okay, I'm over there and that's boiler estate. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that's useful. What's happening over here? Almost be feel bad for these city watch guys getting eaten alive like that. I'm not sure, but there might be couple couple of weepers close by somewhere, but but I'm not exactly sure. Seems like there's copper wire everywhere. There is that one rune over there, but let's see what this says. Go away, he doesn't live here anymore. I don't have no clue what that means. Hero spiritual remedy useful Granny Rack's diary I can't trust him 
You can't love what you can't trust. That's the song the birdies sing when the weather turns cold and forces them out of their nice homes they built. Nice home, nice home spoiled, spoiled and ruined, useless now. So the birdies hate the weather that betrayed them. They fly away to look for new homes that aren't so cold and dreary, dreary, dreary. I'm leaving too. My valise is packed, so the drear, dreary everywhere I look. I can't bear it anymore. It seems like that's like Granny Rack's poem or something. And those ra rats, what she was talking about. I mean, birdies. They are rats, actually. Going to a party, Corvo? Yes, I'm Is going that for party. Of, of course. All months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner. Well, beautiful women in the latest fashion. Laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters, and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party, and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? We shall see. Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Yes, it is. There's this one thing that we haven't very much discussed. You can see these streets and scenery. It's so beautiful. It's like watching some sort of painting or something I don't know how to explain it but there's something so beautiful when you it's some there's something so beautiful when you just stop and look around estate district Post the video if you want to read those texts. I know that here there's a second room. Didn't work. guys, tall boys, and there's one guard. That was so easy. So that's how you deal with the tall boys. This map is so beautiful. More coins? 
useful as always. Okay. This seems to be the place where Cream of Dunwall is meeting. Last year, Waverly threw a I'm garden gonna... party. Oh, they were my invitations. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. Yeah, no you... safe there's rat inside those buildings. It seems like that party invitation is clue. Oh. That's gonna help us get inside. Invitation, please. It's going to be. Inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, maybe you should go home. I'll strike right this way once sir. we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being Thank easy. you. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch a plague and die waiting out here. I'm sure she'd like that. And we'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma's. Ah, Mr. Bunting. You just had someone here pretending to be you. Welcome. You there, stop that. Nope. Welcome, sir. Oh, and we have a game tonight. Esma, Lydia, and Waverly are wearing identical costumes in white, black, and red. You'll have to work out which of your hosts is wearing which color. Good luck. Okay. It seems I'm like a party game. It was fun for us. Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. Are All you right. going to be playing the Boyle's game? Thank you for extra coins. Okay. Now I have to be very quiet and deal with these guys over here. Here is truth, regardless of what you will hear from the authorities who rule over us. It's no matter of coincidence that the former royal spymaster is is one who stepped in when the late empress fell. We who will remain nameless believe that these events are interconnected. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay. The signs of oppression are all around us. The Sokolov designs originally intended to provide light and warmth in our homes have been turned against us as means of inspiring fear and controlling our movements throughout the city. And where this plague originate, some say it was important, while theory perhaps. One of our members risked her life to obtain an internal report from the government, which we will be printing and sharing soon called the Exquisite Tallboy, extolling the vir virtues of this newest member of the City Watch. To those in the streets below, these virtues are horrors spread by still thugs who rain down fire on the sick and poor. To the eyes, the tall boy is another government bully. Are armed with the insecurity devices, 
thickly armored and standing high overhead, looking down at the common people of the city. Now we know that the tall boys are heavily drugged, imbibing substance that re ren renders them re resistant to pain, but also those whatever empathy they might normally possess. Exuited? Exuited? We think not. Copy these words and share them with your neighbors, and remember, when the tides are lowest, truth will be revealed. It was mistake to read those. Read that text. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. The party's indoors this time. Right to that. You stop that. Sorry. Oh, nice, Please sir. enjoy yourself. Inside. Let's see what L Lord Shaw has to say. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. Oh, I remember this part of this game. There is like pistol duel with the it's Lord Shaw tonight. and Hurry up me. And let's see what you're made of. Be it noted that Lord Pendleton's representative has a pistol. You may proceed. A contest Thank of you. honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger Lord Trevor Pendleton and Lord Shaw, the challenge party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get on well. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Apricot. Sorry. Apricot tartlets. Tastes good. Okay. Stop. Stand right there. It's gonna be Three, too easy. Two. One. Too easy. And that's another patron dead. Huh? Nobody knows a thing. Before we are gonna get inside that boil house, first we are gonna loot some of these abandoned buildings. As you can see, there's a bone charm nearby. Weepers inside this building. But a couple of weepers, it ain't gonna be a huge problem for us. Let's check downstairs if there's anything useful. Like there's a couple of weepers downstairs. 
That's how you deal with these weavers. Very simple and easy. later all right now we are gonna deal with the boil woman our first order of business is to deal boil it up gray have dealt like two boil women and four officer guards. I remember like in the last episode, no last episode, like back in the day when I played first time this mission. I didn't try like high chaos run. It was like low chaos. And I tried to be undetected all the time, but it was so hard for me because all these guards would have spotted me. There was nothing that I could do because back in the day I wasn't like very good at this game. There's something so entertaining playing Dishonored with a high chaos mode. Unfortunately, if you play high chaos, it's gonna. Yeah, the high, okay, high chaos run is bad for business because you get the bad ending. That is what I. Tr that. That was what I tried to explain to you guys. Is it true that more bone charms have been taken from apostates since the plague started? Uh, uh, uh. So, now it's the, mo the most difficult part. There's this high... 
an Ohio wizard overseer with the music box. This music box overseers are very hard to deal with if you don't want to be detected. I know that there is a second music box overseer downstairs in the hallway but I don't know how I can deal with him because I need to be very dis discreet now there's this maid but we are not gonna kill the maids because they are civilians and I don't like kill people that cannot defend themselves so Customs and food of Morley. focused in this game because I don't anything you need sir I need you to sleep that was close I want to complete rest of this mission like not alerting anyone so I need to be careful Quick reflexes, but now I think that everyone is like afraid of me. Help me! Help! Thank you. I'm in need of assistance. Can someone assist me? Help me! Thank you for it. Seems like everyone is alerted. So now, before I can deal rest of these people, I need to take down that overseer guy. one of the more difficult parts of this mission. So 
so... of your money. little bit terrified. Before we are gonna leave this oil mansion, I'm gonna collect every single coin around this apartment. was an accident. I didn't mean to kill these aristocrats. Help! The hungry cosmos. Help me! Someone help me, damn it! There is something inside of me that wants to put my sw sword in these aristocrats. No, no, please. Alright. Before we are gonna leave this mansion, we are gonna check every room for extra coin Lydia Boyle's diary Before we are gonna leave this mansion, we are gonna check every corner and we can, can get all the coins, so this might be a little bit like boring to you guys, but without coin I cannot buy new weapons, bombs, etc. So. 
it's necessary that I collect all these. No. Thank you for money. You don't have anything. Okay. Now we are gonna head downstairs. Shut up. Customs and food or morally. I read that before. There was those killer rats, so they are very dangerous in numbers, so I needed to tell those guys. There's nothing useful here anymore, so please. Okay, now we have all the rules. this mansion throughout the servers ah. I know that it's great struggle for you guys to hear my awful English but if I could like learn like under a day to speak like better English I Definitely do that. So. What can you do? I saw a coin down here. But I'm not sure. Business is to escape this area. But first, we need to deal with these tall boys. Back to the Samuel. I think there is nothing anymore here for me, so I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Alright. 
So thank you for watching. This was the 11th episode of Dishonored gameplay. As you can see, we were very successful. We found all the painting, paintings, shrines, bone, charm, bone charms, runes, except I don't know where we could find a couple hundred little bit more coins. But yeah, I thank you all for watching and we are gonna see each other in the next episode. Goodbye.